actually I've been a farmer all my life. In fact, my first field work was with a team of horses, believe it or not. And in one generation going from that to the point where we've got, you know, a combine with a 35 foot head, uh, it's, it's hooked with GPS and does mapping in one lifetime. Frankly, what have I done to produce that? Nothing. Private companies have developed that for my use. There are people that are working for me every day. For 20 years, we suffered, you know, severely with corn bore. I sprayed one year, okay. You got an immediate 20 bushel uh, increase in yield. And shortly after that, in fact, I didn't want to spray anymore because we are next to a lot of lakes and rivers. And then we found out we can purchase a corn that's, that protects the corn from the European corn bore, BT corn and start raising it. And wow, I got the same yield increase as I did when I sprayed it. And the BT only affects the corn borer. It doesn't affect anything else. It doesn't affect the frogs, the birds, the honeybees, anything else that's in the area. A lot of very beneficial insects. It doesn't affect them. But we get the same yield without affecting the environment. Matter of fact, the way we're farming now is far better to the environment. We are not using harsh chemicals like we used to. We aren't seeing the washing of soil. We aren't seeing the blowing of soil. And all these things are coming about because of biotech. We don't have to till the ground. We don't have to work the ground so much to work out the weeds. The only thing it hasn't taken care of is all the rocks in the field. <laughs> <laughs> I have thought about that. Yeah. Biotech is an important tool. A farmer nowadays has to take every tool he can, every advantage he can. As far as the, the drying charges, I mean, you can imagine with the cost of energy today what it would cost. But now with BT corn, you can let it stand. You can let it stand. That's BT corn out there. You can let it stand let it dry down. I've got it pre-sold, and it can haul it directly to the elevator. And that's a tremendous savings. And it just works. That's why farmers are uh, adopting very, very quickly. So it's, it's surprising and, and disheartening to me to see people who uh, oppose the advantages that we farmers have by using biotech and GMO when it, it benefits the environment more and is not hazardous to human consumption. What he's working on isn't to benefit himself, but it's just to benefit not only us as producers, but those as consumers and everything for generations to come. Just doing the right thing. If I knew that biotech was hazardous to the environment or to to humans, I wouldn't raise it. I don't know of any farmer that wants to raise anything that is going to damage the environment. They just won't raise it. Or to, for human consumption, they just won't raise it. But the science is behind us. All the research, all the data, everything that we have at our disposal is in our favor. There is no, there is no damage. Believe in solid science. Believe in facts. Believe in truth. We are able to produce an awful lot of, of safe food for a lot of people in the world.